okay so today we'll start with next topic new topic that is set okay we have already seen the sum of the sequence data types list and tuple strings so today we'll see what is set how it is represented what are its features so <clears throat> let's start with so set is nothing but a heterogeneous collection of unordered items okay now again the word heterogeneous here means it can store multiple data types okay heterogeneous collection of unordered items this is very important okay we have seen regarding list we have seen regarding tuple list and tuple both are ordered okay even strings are ordered okay that means each element or each item in list string or tuple has an order has an index okay we can access this by in the index but here sets are unordered that means it cannot be accessed by using index okay indexing and slicing cannot be applied on a set okay so that's why we say that sets are unordered items okay collection of unordered items next thing it is mutable mutable that means we can change a set in place okay we can change any component in the set okay we are going to see later uh, practically how we can change that then duplicates are not allowed this is very important okay in list duplicates are allowed in tuples also duplicates are allowed but in set duplicates are not allowed okay one element appears only once okay appears only one time okay it cannot appear second time or we cannot have a duplicate of that element okay the next sets are represented by curly brackets okay like li list they were represented by square brackets tuples were represented by round brackets strings were represented uh, inside quotes single quotes double quotes so similarly sets are represented in a curly bracket okay separated by comma as usual <coughs> then a null set can be created this is the syntax to create a set okay just use the variable name let's say set1 equals to and use the set constructor okay set set and round bracket it will create a null set then it only accepts immutable data types as items this is also important point okay set is items ahead set is elements ahead those must be only immutable data types okay now what are immutable data types all the generic data types like integer it is immutable float immutable complex immutable string is also immutable so string can also be allowed okay and tuples are immutable so tuples are also allowed okay then what about list lists are mutable so list are not allowed remember this thing okay it only accepts immutable data types as items okay clear the main features of set yes sir okay then let's see an example how to initialize a set this is an example here i have taken a variable set1 equals to and in curly bracket i have mentioned all the immutable data types separated by comma you can see here 1 2 3 then python it is a string it is immutable 5.12 it is float and here i have also mentioned a tuple this tuple is also element of a set okay this whole tuple means tuple containing 5 and 6 this whole tuple is a element of set okay and if we execute this and check this is our set 1 2 3 5.12 5 python and tuple 5 6 and the data type is set okay now somebody please tell me while initializing we have initialized in this way Like the elements were one, two, three, Python, five point twelve, and 
while printing it has print 1 2 3 5.12 first and then python and then the tuple what is the logic behind this why there is difference in this initialization and uh, printing of a set why there is a difference in sequence yes any guess because sets are unordered items as we said okay there is no specific order there is no specific sequence for the elements okay so elements he kontai position la use shaktat okay not necessary uh, in sequence or not necessary according to uh, ascending order or descending order okay they can appear in any order okay so that's why we can see this 5.12 ahead of python okay in front of python before python understood yes sir okay then <coughs> sets are heterogeneous collection it can store different data types okay the, that that example also we have seen here i am just uh, running a for loop on that set and what i am printing i am printing that item and data type of that item okay so you so that you can get an idea what are the different data types stored in this set item 1 the data type is integer 2 data type is integer 3 data type is integer 5.12 data type is float python data type is string and this 56 this data type is tuple okay so understood why heterogeneous collection yes sir okay then next sets are unordered we have seen sets are unordered that means indexing and slicing is not applicable here okay there is no specific sequence for the elements in a set okay and we will prove this here so this is my set okay and if i try to access any element by using indexing okay if i try to access a first index element it will throw an error okay this is the error type error what is the error set object is not subscriptable okay that means indexing is not possible in set why because they are unordered there is no specific order the order is nasel tar tumhi kasa tharavnar ki konte index la konta element ahe understood yes sir okay ata ite baga ite dakhavtana veglat sequence dakhavla hai apan initialize kartana veglat sequence hota okay print kartana veglat sequence hota okay so sequence is not fixed here that's why they are unordered next it only accepts immutable data types as items okay set che items set che je elements ahet tya madhe fakt immutable data types fakt apan store karu shakto okay now uh Above this, we have seen an example, okay, immutable data types like integer, string, float, tuple, complex. We can store these data types easily. But what if we try to store a list inside a set? Okay, now this is a list you can see here. Five and six, these two are the components of the list. Okay, and I'm trying to store this list inside this set, set two. Okay, these all are immutable data types. That is fine but list is a mutable data type okay this should not work okay we'll try to execute this and it gives me an error what is an error unhashable type list okay list is unhashable it is saying that list is unhashable it is mutable okay we can only store immutable data types in the set understood yes 
okay now when i say immutable data types the boolean data types also come in that okay boolean data types like true and false these also come inside a set just a second now if i try this you can see here false true 3.14 abc and this tuple 25 okay similarly you can see here this also okay so only immutable data types are allowed in a set is this clear <clears throat> yes, then next duplicates are not allowed in the set duplicate values ya set madhe chalat nahit okay even if there are duplicate values it will automatically eliminate one of the value jar duplicate values astil tar automatically to एक वैल्यू इलिमिनेट कर टाके ओके सो लेट सी एन एक्जाम्पल हियर आई हेव टेकन अ सेट एंड आई हेव इंसर्टेड वन टू टू थ्री एक्स वाई जेड थ्री पॉइंट फोर्टीन थ्री एक्स वाई जेड नाउ आई कैन सी देर आर डुप्लीकेट वैल्यूज यर टू एंड टू डुप्लीकेट ओके दिस थ्री एंड दिस थ्री डुप्लीकेट ओके दिस एक्स वाई जेड एंड दिस एक्स वाई जेड दिस ऑल्सो डुप्लीकेट एंड इफ वी एक्जीक्यूट दिस सेट वी कैन सी ओनली जेन्यून वैल्यूज only unique values are present in the set duplicates are automatically eliminated understood yes sir okay now you can see an example of this also okay Here also all the unique values have been included in the set. Now what I want to show here is, if I try this, okay, three point fourteen A B C two five true and one. Okay, if I try this, I'm not getting one. Okay, the true and one are two different values. i'm still not getting one why because it considers one as a true okay and zero as false that's why it is considering these true and one as duplicates okay either there will be true or there will be one understood okay even if i try with false and zero see here that zero is not visible here okay true and false both are there but zero and one are not there so either true or one one of the two will be present and either of false and zero one of these will be present understood yes sir okay i'll mention here true is equivalent to 1 and false is equivalent to zero okay now let's move forward how to initialize a null set okay null set means a blank set or an empty set how to initialize an empty set okay like we did for list like we did for tuple we cannot use only curly brackets okay here 
uh, when you want to initialize a null set, you have to use a set constructor. Okay, so this is the correct syntax to initialize a null set. Okay, I have taken a variable set zero equals to set constructor. Okay, and I am printing this set and the data type of that set. Here you can see this is my set and the data type is set. Okay, what if we only uh, give curly brackets? Okay, for a null set. Okay, this is wrong method actually. This will create a dictionary instead of set okay because dictionary also has similar kind of representation like curly bracket okay if i execute this you can see here this is a null but this is a dictionary not a set okay so for null set you have to compulsory use this set constructor instead of the only curly bracket understood Yes, sir. This is not correct because this initializes a null dictionary instead of set. Then, how to use a set constructor? Okay, we can use a set constructor and we can convert any particular list or tuple into a set okay so this is an example what I have done I have taken a list here that list contains one two three four five elements then I am printing the list and the data type of that list then next I am converting that list into set we have seen this part okay we have seen it uh, in the list when we want to remove duplicate values we can convert it into set and remove duplicate values okay that part we have seen the so same has been implemented here list has been converted into set okay and then print the set and the data type of that set okay i'll execute this this is this was my list one two three four five the data type was list and after converting it to set this is my set and now the data type is set understood how to use set constructor for conversion yes sir okay so these were some of the basic features of set okay now we will begin with some of the functions of set okay there are some of functions in set that we can perform so we'll see the functions now first category is adding the items in a set how to add the items in a set okay so for that purpose we have first function that is add function okay by using this add function we can add one item to the set okay one particular item to the set okay it will add one item whichever item is specified in the uh, uh, bracket that will be added to the set okay and the syntax is name of the variable name of the set dot add function and in bracket you have to mention the item okay or the element that you want to add to that particular set okay let's see suppose this is my set okay it's an empty set okay then what I am doing I am adding a boolean data type that means a false into that set using the same syntax okay set one dot add and false okay now this false is a false is a immutable data type okay So after adding, sorry, this this was a dictionary actually. Uh, I should have taken 
different set now this has been executed and here is my set okay there is only one element in this understood yes sir now yes. here what will happen set 2 dot add 100 what will happen yes what will be the output false comma and red false oh sorry here i forgot to print set 2 here it is false comma 100 understood yes sir what if i add zero here now what will be the output <coughs> yes what will be the output tell me false comma 100 or zero comma 100 false comma 100 or zero comma 100 mostly false comma 100 because false is already present okay the false la kadun mag zero tacha jage replace honar nahi okay either of the two either false or zero okay but mostly it will be false only because false he already present hai okay understood how to add a single item yes sir okay you can add any item you can add any integer float string or a tuple into the set by using add method now next method is update method okay we are into same category okay adding the items into the set now next function or next method here is update okay now this function we use to merge another sequence into a set okay what by by merge we mean it will merge another sequence it may be a list set or tuple into a set okay thodkyat don set cha merging apan karu shakto kiwa eka list cha ani set cha merging karu shakto tuple cha ani set cha merging karu shakto okay syntax is variable name dot update and just give the sequence here <coughs> okay now which uh, sequence will be updated okay this sequence will be updated this set will be updated okay remember here and on the left side there should be set only current he set the method i set the function i so on the left side there should be always a set on right side here in the bracket it can be a set or list or tuple okay and which one is going to update this is going to be updated okay on the left side okay so let's see an example i have taken two sets set one and set two and I will print both the sets here set 1 comma set 2 uh, sorry set underscore 1 and set underscore 2 <coughs> so these are these two are my set okay set 1 contains 1 2 3 4 5 set 2 contains 0 6 7 8 9 and I am applying update method and I am trying to merge this set 2 into set 1. Okay, that means my set 1 will be updated. We will also print this again set underscore 1, set underscore 2. And you can see here set 1 has been updated. Okay, set 2 model is a great element set 1 madhe aale set 1 madhe already ahe tas plus all the elements from set 2 
have also been added to set one. Okay, and set two is as it as it is. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then, what if we add a list or a tuple? Okay. Now I am taking a, this list. Okay, and I am adding this list into a set. Okay. So I am not adding actually a list. Okay, I am actually merging the elements from a list to set. Okay, so you can see here elements have been merged 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, understood? Yes, sir. Same can be done for tuple also. Suppose I am taking a tuple here. And let's say 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, round bracket. And here we will merge it. So I will run this, merge it. And you can see here the tuple is also merged in the set. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then how to access the items in a set? Okay. We cannot access uh, we cannot access the items by using indexing or slicing. Okay, so only way to access the item in a set is using a for loop. Okay, for item in set print item, you'll get the items. Okay, in this way. Okay, now you can see there is no particular sequence. Okay, random uh, items are getting printed here. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One more thing I want to show. What if we apply enumerate on the set? And uh, I'll print uh, I as well as item. Okay, enumerate is also applicable. Okay, so we cannot uh, access the item by using index, but by using enumerate, we can actually number the items. Understood? There will be no sequence, no particular sequence, but at least we can give the number to the items. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. The next category is how to remove the items from a set. Okay. To remove the items from a set, we have various methods. Okay. And we'll see one by one. First method is remove method. Okay. Remove now one is ahead. Okay. We can remove a specific item from the set okay we, we have to specify the item actually whatever the item is it may be integer string float we have to specify it in that remove method okay then it removes that item and the syntax is as usual set dot remove and in bracket you have to specify the item okay and just see add a item add karte she remove a hai, item remove karte okay we'll see an example this is my set and I want to remove 10 from this set. Okay. 
remove 10 from the set and we'll again check the set now the 10 has been removed okay here there was 10 so it has been removed understood yes sir. now if we want to remove 100 from the set and print the set 100 also removed understood how to use remove yes sir, yes, sir. okay then second method in the set is discard method okay now here discard also works in the same fashion like remove okay it removes the specified item but it will not give error if the item is not found like for remove if you try to remove an item that is not present for example let's remove thousand from the set and if i try to remove it gives me key error okay what is the key error this thousand is a key error it says that thousand is not present in the set how can i remove that okay and only difference in between discard and remove is the same thing okay remove gives you error if the item is not found discard will not give an error if the item is not found okay syntax is same set dot discard item okay so always discard is preferred instead of remove okay this is my set and if i try to discard 30 and print set underscore one so this will remove 30 from the set here 30 is removed okay and what if we try to discard thousand from the set now thousand is not present in the set okay but we'll still try to remove it print this set score one you can see the same set has been returned okay same set has been print okay but thousand which was not present it cannot remove it also okay but it does not give any error okay it is not removing it because it is not present but it also does not show any error like remove understood discard yes sir yes sir okay then the next function to remove an item is pop function okay now what remove and discard were doing we have to specify the item in the bracket whichever item we want to remove okay but for pop we need not to specify the item it removes a random item okay any random item from the set because there is no particular sequence it will remove any particular random item from the set okay this is the pop function and syntax is similar set dot pop okay here we need not to specify okay no need to specify so dot pop will directly remove any particular random item and it will uh, show which item has been removed okay so i'm trying pop on this set it is returning returning me zero that means zero has been removed if i try to print again you can see there is no zero in this set now zero has been removed understood pop yes sir 
now if i try again pop which item will be removed can anybody tell yes which item will be removed one why one sequence right but there is no sequence in set set मध्ये सीक्वेंस आहे का ऑर्डर्ड आहे का सेट नो त्यासाठीच पॉप फंक्शन सांगितले मी त्यावेळेस सांगितले की इट विल रिमूव एनी रॅन्डम आयटम देयर इज नो सीक्वेंस नो ऑर्डर ओके मग 1 च रिमूव करेल किंवा 500 रिमूव करेल असं कोणी सांगू शकत नाही ओके नो बडी कॅन टेल व्हॉट इट विल रिमूव yes it removes one but it is random okay there is no sequence understood yes sir yes sir okay then next function to remove item from the set is clear function now apramane chahe clear means it will remove all the items it will clear the set directly okay it will remove all the items syntax is similar set dot clear okay it will make that set an empty set okay here i have removed all of them and when i try to print that set again i am getting a empty set okay understood clear yes yes then next keyword is del keyword okay we know this del keyword we have used it a couple of times okay it will delete the variable okay del keyword deletes the variable whatever variable of set will be there it will delete that variable now if i try on this set i have executed and if i try to execute this set one now it says that name set one is not defined because it has been deleted understood yes yes sir then after removing the items the third category of functions is joining the sets okay joining multiple sets there are various functions to join the sets okay what are those functions we will see now first function is update function okay update function we have already seen this function okay it merges two different sets okay or a set and list or a set and tuple okay suppose this is an example my s1 contains 1 2 3 s2 contains 4 5 6 and i am using s1 dot update now tell me what will be the elements in s1 and s2 yes elements in s1 1 2 3 4 5 6 right and elements in s2 4 5 6 4 5 6 right in this way okay so s1 is getting updated here okay whichever is on the left hand side that is getting updated okay now we can as i said here we can merge not only set we can merge a list or tuple also okay and not only one list or one tuple we can merge two lists okay like here i have taken example this is my set 
and I have taken two lists L1 10 20 30 L2 40 50 60 and I am trying to merge these two lists into set S okay so my output of set S will be all the components of S list 1 and list 2 both the list L1 and L2 have been merged into set understood yes sir. yes sir okay this was about update function next function is a union function this is also used to join okay two different sets now what union does to me set shikle asal dhavi baravi madhe तर तुम्हाला माहिती असेल की युनियन जे की आपण यू सैन्य आपण दाखवतो इट रिप्रेझेंट्स ऑल द कंपोनंट्स ओके व्हेन वी टेक युनियन ऑफ टू सेट्स दॅट मीन्स ऑल द एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम बोथ द सेट्स विल बी टुगेदर आर यू गेटिंग यस सर ओके अँड just like update okay update circuits union ahe but the difference is that union function will not update the set okay union function he fakt ekatra output dakhavta tumhala actual set madhe update karat nahi okay je ki update karta okay update function kay karta left hand side cha jo set ahe tumcha त्याला अपडेट करतं कम्प्लिटली त्याच्यामध्ये मर्ज करतं आणि त्याच्यामध्ये चेंजेस करतं बट युनियन फंक्शन विल नॉट डू दॅट युनियन फंक्शन तुम्हाला फक्त मर्ज करून आउटपुट शो करेल ओके बट इट विल नॉट अपडेट दी सेट रिमेंबर दिस ओके सिंटॅक्स इज व्हेरी सिमिलर सेट डॉट युनियन सेट टू ओके युअर आय टेकन टू सेट्स एस वन एस टू वन टू थ्री and 456 and i am using s1 dot union s2 now if i execute this i am getting a merged set okay i am getting the output as a merge okay but if i try to print these again s1 and s2 these are original okay that means this merger was just a temporary display or temporary output okay shows a merged set okay but does not update any set understood the difference between update and union yes sir yes sir functionality basically is same update je karte tech union karte fakt ite union madhe set update hot nahi fakt output tumhala show karta te ma set jar update karaycha asel tumhala tar string sarkha tumhala tyala assign karava lagel eka vegla set la okay in this way i have assigned this union of s1 and s2 to s3 and i will get s3 as an updated set understood yes sir okay then next function is intersection function okay just like a uh, union gives you merged that means all the elements from both the sets intersection will give you common elements from both the sets okay intersection of two sets that means common elements from the two sets okay syntax is set1 dot intersection set2 okay again just like union 
intersection will also not update any set okay it will just show the output as an intersection okay only common elements will be shown to you it will not update any set now here i have taken two different sets set 1 which contains 1 2 3 4 5 set 2 that contains 4 5 6 7 8 now tell me which are the common elements from set 1 and set 2 yes 4 5 4 and 5 okay so output of this set 1 dot intersection set 2 should be 4 and 5 in this way understood yes sir. but if i try to print set 1 and set 2 it has not been updated okay they are originals and to update you have to assign it to another set okay then and then you will get updated okay common elements from both the sets understood yes sir okay now instead of uh, assigning this to third set we have one more function that actually updates the set that function is intersection update okay manje kay karil intersection karil ani update pan karil okay common elements pan e karil ani set pan update karil which set will be updated of course the left hand side set okay so just an extension of intersection function इंटरसेक्शन मध्ये फक्त इंटरसेक्शन दाखवत होतं इंटरसेक्शन अपडेट मध्ये इंटरसेक्शन फक्त दाखवणार नाही ते इट विल ऍक्च्युअली अपडेट इट ओके जस्ट गिव मी अ सेकंड Hello, I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, intersection update will actually do the intersection of two sets and it will update the set also. Okay. Let's see an example. This is set 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is set 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And set 1 dot intersection update set 2 will give us updated set 1 4 and 5 only common elements understood intersection update yes sir then next function is difference function now what is difference it will give you only the differences in between two set okay intersection was giving you common elements difference will give you unique elements okay manje common sudun je rahat hai na te unique elements okay ani kontya set madla deal from the left set okay remember this thing it will give you unique elements from the left set okay syntax is set 1 dot difference set 2 now suppose this is my set 1 and this is my set 2 now tell me which are the unique elements from set 1 and set 2 
Yes? See here. I am getting only unique elements from set 2. Left hand side set is set 2. Okay. So unique elements are only in set 2. Karam 4 5 are common. Ahe. Set 1 madhe pan ahe. Set 2 madhe pan ahe. Mag set 2 madhe. Ashe vegre konte elements ahe. Ther he teen elements. 6, 7 and 8. Unique elements from set 2. Okay. This will give you. Unique. Items from. Set 2. Understood? So, set 1 dot different set 2 ke letter ma kunti element di thi? Ma unique ahit ka set 1 madhe malat aditya sangha. Unique elements ahit ka set nine. 1 madhe. J uh, fakta set 1 madhe ahit and set 2 madhe nahi ahit. Asi ahit ka? Nahi So, you will get empty set. Understood? If there are no unique okay. elements, you will get empty set. Understood? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, again, this will not update the set. Okay. It is just showing the difference. Just showing the unique elements. If you see, set 1 and set 2 are my originals. If you want an updated, then assign it to another set okay for example here i have taken a diff set okay which shows the difference okay set 2 dot difference set 1 here you will get the unique elements from set 2 understood yes sir okay now we'll take one more example of this suppose I am having two sets, cities 1 and cities 2. In cities 1, I am having Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Kolkata, Delhi. And in cities 2, I am having Pune, Bangalore, Delhi. I am executing this. And I want unique items from cities 1. Unique item from cities 1 set. Items which are only present in cities 1, not in cities 2. Which are those? Mumbai and Kolkata. Mumbai and Kolkata. So my output cities 1 dot difference cities 2 should be Mumbai and Kolkata. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. Now again. This has not been updated. If you want to update, just assign it to another set. I have taken a unique set here and I have assigned cities one dot difference cities two to that. Here is my updated unique set. Okay. Similarly, one more example I have taken here C1 Pune Bangalore Delhi, C2 Mumbai Pune Bangalore Kolkata Delhi. So C1 dot difference. C2. What will be the output of this? Null set. It will be a null set because there is no item that is unique in C1. Understood? Hello, am I audible? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Understood? Difference? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Now, next function is difference update. Now, you tell me what is this function, difference update? What is the difference or how it is different than difference function? Difference function and difference update. 
any guess yes tell me hello am i audible yes sir. yes any guess difference update madhe navin kay asel vegla kay asel same thing unique items from the left hand side set just it will update the set okay difference function update karat nahi so difference update will update the set you can see here unique items from cities 1 cities 1 and update the set here it is understood yes sir okay now difference was just giving you unique items from left hand side set okay left side cha jo set ahe manje for example here set is one yache unique items tumhala det hota okay which difference function ani difference update yachatle unique item deun tumhala set update karto hota okay so both in these both functions you were getting unique items only from left set okay what if i want unique items from both the set doni set madun mala unique item pahije for this there is symmetric difference function okay left hand set madun pan unique items ani right hand set madun pan unique items doni set madun mala unique items pahije okay anje je common nahi hai ते आइटम्स दोनों सेट मधु फॉर दिस देर इज सिमेट्रिक डिफरेंस फंक्शन अगेन इट डज नॉट अपडेट एनी सेट फक्त आउटपुट तुम्हारा शो करते ओके अपडेट कर सेंटैक्स सेट वन डॉट सिमेट्रिक डिफरेंस सेट टू आई शो इन एक्जाम्पल आई एम हैविंग टू सेट्स फ्रूट्स वन फ्रूट्स टू फ्रूट्स वन कंटेन्स मैंगो एपल बनाना पपया fruits 2 contains apple banana grapes kiwi so if i run this fruits 1 dot symmetric difference fruits 2 what will be my output tell me unique items from both the set yes mango papaya grapes kiwi right mango papaya from first set and grapes kiwi from second set so all four unique items will be displayed grapes kiwi mango papaya okay and as it is symmetric difference it does not make any difference if we change the position of first set and second set symmetric manje doni bajune sarkha okay सो फ्रूट वन डॉट सिमेट्रिक डिफरन्स फ्रूट टू अल का कि फ्रूट टू डॉट सिमेट्रिक डिफरन्स फ्रूट वन अल का द आउटपुट विल बी सेम दैट्स वाई इट इज सिमेट्रिक डिफरन्स सिमेट्रिक ओके दोन बाजू ने सारखा अंडरस्टूड ओके आता हे जे फंक्शन होता सिमेट्रिक डिफरन्स ये सेट अपडेट हो, होता का सेट अपडेट झालाय का सेट अपडेट झालाय का सांगा झालाय का सेट अपडेट आउटपुट बघा नो नो ओके सो टू अपडेट द सेट देर इज वन मोर फंक्शन हिअर 
सिमेट्रिक डिफरेंस अपडेट ओके आउटपुट सेम दोनी सेट मधले यूनिक आइटम्स मिलवाये सेट पेट कर अपडेट होना रही अपडेट द सेट ऑन लेफ्ट साइड लेफ्ट साइड का सेट अपडेट होना ओके सो सपोज युअर फ्रूट्स वन इज दिस फ्रूट्स टू इज दिस एंड इफ आई रन दिस फ्रूट्स वन डॉट सीमेट्रिक डिफरेंस अपडेट फ्रूट्स टू दिस विल गेट यूनिक आइटम्स फ्रॉम बोथ सेट्स एंड अपडेट विच सेट फ्रूट्स वन यू कैन सी हियर ओके आता फ्रूट वन आधी बगित होल बनाना मैंगो पपाया फ्रूट वन आता का है किवी ग्रेप्स मैंगो पपाया अंडरस्टूड यस सर ओके दीज आर सम ऑफ द मेन फंक्शंस ऑफ जॉइनिंग द सेट्स Apart from this, there are some other functions which we have already seen. First function is copy function. If you want to copy a set, you can use this copy function. Okay, set see copy create करूँ ठे वाई ची. Okay, so this is my set three, four, five, six, and I want to create copy of this. Okay, so x dot copy will create a copy. okay and we are assigning it to y that means we are creating a copy of x and storing it in a y i'll run this and i'll print both x and y here there is x and there is y okay now if i add one item to y i've added 100 into y and let's check x and y again ओके वाई मध्य हंड्रेड ऐड के एक्स वाई पुनः चेक के एक्स आहे तसा चाहे हंड्रेड कुछ ऐड वाई मध्य ऐड ओके अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू यूज कॉपी यस ओके देन नेक्स्ट फंक्शन इज इज सबसेट फंक्शन ओके सबसेट मे आधी समझ सबसेट मे एखाद सेट मधले सगले इलिमेंट जर दुसर सेट मध्य तर जो छोटा सेट आहे ज्यादा सगले इलिमेंट दुसर सेट मध्य अपन सबसेट ऑफ लार्जर सेट अंतो ओके फॉर एक्जाम्पल इफ आई एम हैविंग एक्स एज वन टू थ्री फोर एंड वाय एज One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here, x is a subset of y. Asa yala mantat. Samaste? Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, this is subset function. Is suratila is ahe. आउटपुट बुलियन है लक्ष्य ओके आदर इट विल बी ट्रू और फॉल्स सो इफ दैट पर्टिकुलर सबसेट इज सबसेट ऑफ द लार्जर सेट देन इट विल रिटर्न ट्रू अदरवाइज इट विल रिटर्न फॉल्स ओके दिस इज द सिंटैक्स सेट वन डॉट इज सबसेट सेट टू ओके रीड कस कर सेट वन हा सेट टू ता सबसेट आहे का असे याला आपण रीड करू शकतो ओके वेदर सेट वन इज सबसेट ऑफ सेट टू ओके इफ इट इज सबसेट इट विल रिटर्न ट्रू इफ इट इज नॉट देन इट विल रिटर्न फॉल्स लेट्स टेक एन एक्झाम्पल दिस इज एक्स एन वाय अँड इफ आय ट्राय एक्स इज सबसेट ऑफ वाय वॉट विल बी द आउटपुट ट्रू ऑर फॉल्स 
it will be true because x is actually subset of y and if i try y is subset x it will be true or false 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 because y is not a subset of x x is a subset of y okay understood yes sir okay now we have seen subset there is another term called as superset okay when the small set is subset of larger set at the same time larger set is a superset of small set okay jo chhota asto tela subset of large set asa mantat ani jo motha ahe jo large ahe tela superset of small set asa mantat okay syntax is very similar set 1 is superset set 2 now tell me y is superset x what will be the output true or false true it will be true and x is superset y false false okay because y is a larger set that's why it is superset okay next function is is disjoint okay डिस्जॉइंट कशाला म्हणतो आपण जर डिस्जॉइंट सेट म्हणजे काय इफ नन ऑफ द आयटम्स आर प्रेझेंट इन बोथ सेट्स देन इट इज अ डिस्जॉइंट सेट ओके इफ इट इज नॉट द केस देन इट इज नॉट अ डिस्जॉइंट केस नॉट अ डिस्जॉइंट सेट ओके एक एक्झाम्पल सांगतो मी सपोज आय एम हॅव्हिंग एक्स एक्स हॅज ॲपल बनाना चेरी ओके अँड आय एम हॅव्हिंग वाय गुगल मायक्रोसॉफ्ट फेसबुक ओके नाव इन धिस केस आय एम अप्लाइंग धिस एक्स इज डिस्जॉइंट वाय ओके अँड आय एम इक्वेटिंग टू झेड अँड आय एम प्रिंटिंग झेड let's see the output this is true okay because none of the items are present in both sets okay doni set madhe konte item present nahi hai okay this will return true if no items in set x is present in set y set y x madla konta hi item set madhe present nasla pahije set y madhe present nasla pahije tar so डिस्जॉइंट आहे ओके या उलट जर एखादा जरी आयटम प्रेझेंट असेल तर तो डिस्जॉइंट नाहीये म्हणजे आता या केस मध्ये बघा एक्स हॅज ऍपल बनाना चेरी अँड वाय हॅज गुगल मायक्रोसॉफ्ट ऍपल एक्स मधला एक आयटम वाय मध्ये प्रेझेंट आहे सो दिस इज नॉट अ डिस्जॉइंट ओके अँड इन दिस केस युअर आउटपुट विल बी फॉल्स अंडरस्टूड डिस्जॉइंट ओके अँड रिमेनिंग फंक्शन्स आर द ॲग्रिगेट फंक्शन्स विच आर व्हेरी सिमिलर टू लिस्ट अँड ट्युपल्स मॅक्स विल गिव्ह यू मॅक्सिमम ओके इन दिस केस मायक्रोसॉफ्ट इज द मॅक्सिमम इन वाय ओके मिनिमम विल गिव्ह यू मिनिमम okay now this maximum and minimum this has an uh, ascending order okay the maximum made tumcha m m ch sequence bagaychi okay m has a larger position as compared to a okay minimum sati a a is the uh, smallest in ascending order ओके ए एम आणि जी यांच्यापैकी जर बघितलं तर ए हा सर्वात अगोदर येतो त्यामुळे मिनिमम ए असेल ओके दिस इज इन केस ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स ओके इन केस ऑफ नंबर्स इट विल बी ऍक्च्युली नंबर्स अँड सम 
for this string it will not work if you want it to work then you have to take another set let's take x equals to or let's take um, num set equals to and if I apply the sum on num set I will get the sum okay 32 6 plus 7 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 5 is 32 understood yes sir, yes, sir. okay these were the functions in set and lastly how to check uh, the directory of any object or any module for example set tumhala set chi directory jar check karaycha asel tyachyamadhe kon konte functions ahet you can do it for string list or uh, tuple also okay use dir option dir gives you directory so dir of set it will give you what is present in that directory okay these are various um let's say uh, constructors we can say and these are actual functions okay ithun pude functions ahet add clear copy difference difference update discard intersection intersection update is disjoint is subset is superset pop remove symmetric difference symmetric difference update union and update itke sagle functions ahet set se understood okay this was about set any doubt in set no sir okay then we'll stop here today in the next session we will continue with uh, dictionaries okay